When Cobra Kai premiered, a spin-off series of Karate Kid, many actors have reprised their roles from the Karate Kid franchise. Sadly, some of them have passed away before they were able to appear on the show. Today, we will show you all the actors that had died from Karate Kid. Jerry Weintraub. Weintraub was the producer behind the legendary movie The Karate Kid, as well as Ocean's Eleven. He began his career as a talent agent, managing tours for some of the most famous artists in the world, such as Elvis Presley, Frank Sinatra, and even Neil Diamond. In the late 70s, he grew a passion for films and producing them, so he managed to produce his first movie in 1975 titled Nashville. After that, his credits as a producer continued to grow, and when he produced The Karate Kid in 1984, his entire life would change. The huge success of this movie has brought him a place as chairman and CEO of the United Artists Division. The three sequels of The Karate Kid were also produced by Weintraub, once again reaching huge success. Sadly, the producer passed away from cardiac arrest in 2015 at the age of 77. Francis Bay. As you know, I was from Jersey. Because I'm from New Jersey. I got a nose for my own. Well, what part? She has made fans of all ages laugh with her quirky roles, such as Adam Sandler's grandma in Happy Gilmore and her small role in Seinfeld. After she had spent the majority of her life being a housewife, she had a revelation that her dream of being in the spotlight was yet to come. Her first role was in the 1978 comedy Foul Play, and later on, she moved on to other small roles in movies such as The Karate Kid, where she played Mrs. Milo, Twins, and Big Top Pee Wee. She had her big break on Happy Days when she got the role of Fonz's grandmother. From 2009 to 2011, she had a recurring role as Aunt Ginny in the middle, which would also appear to be her last role. Bay passed away in 2011 in California due to complications from pneumonia at the age of 92. Rob Garrison. All of it, right? That's right, man. Hey, you must be a trendsetter, Johnny. Looks like everyone's doing something new. The actor made a place for himself in pop culture history by securing a role in 1984's hit, The Karate Kid. Playing the role of Tommy, a Cobra Kai team member, has opened up many doors for Rob. After he appeared in The Karate Kid and The Karate Kid 2, he appeared on shows like Coach, Columbo, and Homefront. In 2019, Garrison reprised his role as Tommy in the spin-off series Cobra Kai, alongside other Karate Kid co-stars such as William Zabka and Ralph Macchio. He did reprise his role in one episode where Tommy is terminally ill and spends the day with his friends and former teammates before passing away. Garrison passed away on September 27, 2019 at the age of 59 after a long hospitalization due to kidney and liver failure. Bruce Malmuth. May I have your attention, please? This is the Even though his role in the Karate Kid franchise wasn't quite big, Malmuth was still known as the ring announcer from Karate Kid. Not only was he an actor, but he was also an incredible filmmaker who was involved in directing many great movies. His first ever debut as director was on the comedy film Foreplay but he was best known for directing Nighthawks in 1981, starring Sylvester Stallone, and the political action film Hard to Kill in 1990. After appearing in The Karate Kid, he also worked on the television series Beauty and the Beast, as well as on the Emmy-winning special A Boy's Dream. After Karate Kid, he did have a few small film roles, but unfortunately, he passed away in 2005 at the age of 71 due to esophageal cancer. Pat Morita. Uh, excuse me, uh, Mr. Referee. This is uh, not Miyagi. Miyagi. Who could forget the iconic role of Mr. Miyagi in The Karate Kid? Morita quickly became a pop culture icon for this role, and as the film became bigger and bigger, everyone became obsessed with his role. Before starring in Karate Kid, Morita was a comedian and had appeared in several popular sitcoms such as Happy Days and Sanford and Son. Needless to say that Karate Kid would be his biggest claim to fame, so much that his portrayal of Mr. Miyagi earned him an Oscar nomination for Best Supporting Actor. After the Karate Kid franchise, Morita continued his successful career as a television and film actor, all the way until he died in 2005. 
he passed away at the age of 73 due to kidney failure, following a urinary tract and gallbladder infection. He remains to be remembered by everyone as the legendary and iconic karate teacher, Mr. Miyagi. On a related note, we wanted to hear your thoughts about the first Karate Kid movie. Let us know in the comments section below. If you'd like to see more amazing videos such as this one, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.